Hello, welcome to another Fight Predictions video. This is Ma Martin Murray vs. Gladio Lofgren. So, Gladio Lofgren has just defended his WBA and IBO middleweight titles against Marcus Super Rubio a few weekends ago. And now, Martin Murray had a fight last weekend, I'm not sure who he was against, and he defended his WBC silver middleweight belt, if I'm correct. So, that, that puts him in line to fight Gladio Lofgren. And uh, I do think this fight has been signed. I'm not sure if it's if it's been fully agreed yet, but from what I've been reading, the, the fight has been um, most. It's 95 percent done. I just can't report. Um, my predictions for this fight. Uh, I mean, Garner Golovkin is easily the best middleweight in the division and one of the best fighters in the world currently, with his 80 knockouts in a row. He holds the most knockout percentage currently in boxing and the best in middleweight title history. So, not not being harsh to America because he's a British fighter, so I support all the British fighters. But Martin Murray is good, but he hasn't got a chance in this fight. Um, Matthew Macklin fought Lufkin a few fights ago, and he's a tough, solid um, competitor, good middleweight, got a good, good lot of uh, skills, and he found out quite quickly that regardless of what game plan you come in with, Lufkin will hurt you quite fast and get you out of there really 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 fast. Murray might have a chance because maybe he's a bit more skilled, a bit more technically gifted than Macklin, but at the same time I still think the outcome will be exactly the same as before. Golovkin, normal sort of um, fight for him, another easy title defence and really as like I said before in my last video to do with Golovkin, he has to go up a weight or go down a weight for the bigger fights. The Miguel Cotos, Canal Alvarez is even Floyd Mayweather possibly, if Mayweather would want to fight Lufkin if he was in the light middleweight division. Or if he went at one to super middleweight, Carl Froch, Andre Ward, the real big, big fights. They'll make him a real household name in America. I mean, at the minute, yeah, he is exciting and people do know him in America and I, I know him from watching him fight. But he's not a real, real big name at the minute. He doesn't generate massive, massive money um, from his fights. I know he did quite well in his last fight against Rubio. Uh, um, but sometimes, well, it's hard to, hard to explain. Like, he is good because he is getting well known, but he's still not, he's generating good money because of his name and he's exciting. But it's only because of that. If you look at Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, for two good examples, they can fight anybody and still generate a lot of good pay per view money. So, Golovkin, in my view, has to fight a big marquee name to really elevate him into the highest superstar status in boxing. Even if he fights one of those people I mentioned, I still think he will be considered a big name. That said, fight Mark um, Mike Murray isn't a bad thing, but it's just another easy win, another knockout in my opinion. Another is the Mark Mike Murray is a good fight, like I said, but he hasn't got a chance in this fight. And I will think eventually after this fight, Glovkin will start looking for bigger and better things. He wants to fight Mika Koto. I don't think Mika Koto wants to stay in the middle of the division. I think he did that because Sergio Martinez was weak. He had uh, loads of injuries and I think he grabbed a good chance while it was there. So I think he's going to go back down to the light middleweight division. But hopefully Golovkin will start um, gradually after this fight, try and get the bigger fights. Like I said, Alvarez is Miguel Cotos, if he's willing to fight him. Uh, Audrey War, Carl Froch, Chavez Jr. The big, big fights that he wants and people want him, watch, want him to fight the best. So we'll have to see what happens. You know, this has been my Martin Murray, Glenn Golovkin fight predictions video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video.